everyone, I am Valerie Serrano Lopez. I am currently a master's student with Miami University in Oxford, Ohio, completing my Master's of Arts and Biology with the Global Field Program. And welcome to my backyard. I'm here to tell you about my journey in the program, and I would just like to say that this journey has been a roller coaster of successes, barriers, but ultimately lessons learned that I have taken throughout my entire journey. I first started in the program when I was living out in Bayfield, Colorado. I'm currently in Pensacola, Florida, and I was able to visit Belize. And in Belize, I learned about community conservation and the impacts it has on the landscape and conservation itself. And so I took that back with me and I was trying to connect the dots of where I thought I could fit in. And it hit me. I am interested in understanding the relationship between inquiry-based uh, programming and its impacts on my students of color, minority students. And so I wanted to apply that to what I was currently studying. Um, and I did a program in Ignacio High School with the students and took them outdoors. And at the end of the day, the thing that they told me was that they love to be outside. And so I moved back to Pensacola. I've been back and forth, I went back to Pensacola. And I wanted to learn, well, how does that look like here? I didn't really understand the community here. And so I, talked to some connections and they let me know about the Marine Science Academy. And when I connected with the director, I found out that the academy was not representative of the demographics of the school. And so the dots were just really connected and the gaps were there. And I wanted to apply this to current programming and activities that are available to the community. And this really inspired me to um, create a community event focusing on minority students, low income students, um, and their access to inquiry-based programming, specifically um, in environmental topics. And uh, though I didn't get the outcome that I was expecting, I learned so much about communication, partnerships, and how all of this happens. Before I continue telling my story, I wanted to include video footage of my trip to Montana with the Indigenous Scholars, a part of the Indigenous Scholars program that I will cover shortly. Um, and all of those skills really led me to the co-development of the Indigenous Scholars program with the U.S. Forest Service, my employer, the Continental Divide Trail Coalition, the American Indian Youth Fund, as well as collaborating colleges to uplift a, a program that focuses on Indigenous students and their relationship with conservation careers. Um, and it just keeps going from there. I am so excited to see where this goes and hopefully I can enter some footage here, but I'm grateful. <laughs>